Hello, welcome to In the Den with Dr. Jen, an open-minded and funky place for females to explore sexuality in a comprehensive manner and start thinking about female sexuality outside the box. Our den guest today is Nick Harris, a man of many talents. He is a photographer and the author of Petals, a breakthrough book presenting stunningly beautiful images of vulvas. A documentary of his work on the project is the subject of an award-winning film. Nick is also a teacher and a speaker with a doctorate degree in sexology. Now, his investigation into taboo subjects has allowed him to experience the basic nature of most sexual problems. Hey, Nick. Hey, Jen. <laughs> Thanks for being here. <laughs> Thanks for it's having It's exciting because I, I talked about your... Um, Petals book and your work back long time ago, over a year ago, in a show I did number 20. I hadn't even met you yet, so it's great to have you here. Yes, thanks. <laughs> um, so I'm curious, what is the biggest impact that Petals has had on people, and do you think it's particularly timely now in society? Definitely. I think it's a timeless, timeless issue, but right now people are talking more about things. People are doing a lot more spiritual work on themselves trying to find out more and I think Petals is important because it opens up dialogue, it gets people talking about something that rarely gets talked about. So that's, the, is that the um, biggest feedback to it? Is just that we're talking about something we can talk about? Definitely, okay. definitely and making it as a coffee table book and getting it out there. A lot of people go, oh my god, I would never put this on my coffee table. But it's amazing the conversations that get started and for the first time a couple can actually sit down and have open dialogue and look through it and a person can find out their fears and, and their preconceived ideas and all kinds of things about it. I have lots of preconceived ideas. Oh, a lot of them. Like I, I use this in workshops and classes, and the biggest reason is so that women know there's such a variety of vulvas. <laughs> like, that's just the basic thing I want them to see, let alone that it's beautiful and nothing to be ashamed of. Exactly. So, exactly. so I'm curious, what has been the most um, unanticipated reaction around petals? What you just said. Everybody looks through it and says, oh, my God, I never realized they were so different and all of the different things, and I guess none of us did, and how beautiful they all are. I don't think people realize that they can be so different from one another, and yet everyone is so unique. It's like a face expression. Did you have any issues in making sure it came across in a beautiful way? Oh, that was very hard. <laughs> that was very hard, and, and that's a personal journey for everybody. But for me to, to find a way to photograph it, and that's why I ended up with black and white and sepia tone, I tried to take some of the sexuality out of it a little bit so that a person could look and see the lines and the subtle nuances and the shape and form and the beauty that's there. Now, what's your thought, though, to present vulvas that for them to be beautiful, they have to not be sexual? I think people have so much, uh, so many rules, so many limitations around their sexuality that they... It, they almost forbid themselves to look at it and appreciate it for what it was. So by mm -hmm. backing off and toning that down a little bit, you could actually stop and look at it. So it's like as long as it doesn't look like pornography, then we can sit and study it and appreciate it and learn from it? Is I it? think so, <laughs> because it amazed me. As much pornography is out there, as much porn, and women have seen as much porn and looked in as many magazines, but in a sexual content, and I'm, I'm amazed that they seem to have glossed over the genitalia when they looked at it. We're here in black and white, it seems to give them permission. They can linger a little longer, they can look at it, and that's when they'll start to see the beauty in it. Absolutely. Yeah. So, as a man, um, what did this process teach you about women that you wish other men knew? Oh, I thought women had as wonderful of a relationship with their genitals as men do. I mean, who men. Who knew? I know, who knew? I mean, we, we love our genitals. We give them names. We, 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 you know, we know they're there. Women have a different relationship. Totally. And I, I wasn't aware of that and how complicated it is. And so if men were aware of that, how could they use that information to help their relationships? Oh. Jeez, just, just taking the time and slowing down and admiring and talking about it and telling her how beautiful mm -hmm. she is and slowing down and making that part of foreplay and just being aware of it. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Okay, and our final Gorilla Soapbox <laughs> randomly generated question. Ah, when and why was your first experience with masturbation? 
Well, the why, I don't even know why we would ask the why. <laughs> well, I just threw when, it in this. People oh, have weird goodness. stories around I, stuff. Oh, my goodness. We all start so young. And oh, I, all the pictures of me as a little boy, I've usually got my hand between my legs. So I already had a relationship starting out with oh, that. Oh, wow. But I, I wish I knew more. Yeah, it's just in the middle of the night, that first time you have an emission and that, the fear that's wrapped around that. Okay. <laughs> So please talk to your kids about that. Explain that. I thought I was dying. <laughs> <laughs> but so that's why. So it was from fear and the... Um, I didn't know. I didn't know the first time you actually right. have an orgasm. That can be a scary thing right. for a kid. Right, absolutely. But then yeah. you started kind of playing around and realizing oh, well, you could make it you happen yourself. you you're not going to die. <laughs> oh, so, oh, thank you. <laughs> you're not going to die. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Thank you, Nick. If you'd like to visit www.nickharris.com, you can learn more about his photography exhibit and Nick's work as a sexologist.